welcome to youtube downloader this is how the interface looks so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you guys straight into youtube and you guys will see how we put one of these together downloading the following file that we have in here so let's do that now guys hi guys and welcome to a youtube tutorial of how to create a youtube downloader okay as you can see right up here i've already installed or i've already added the component that i need but you must ins make sure you install the pi tube this very one you must install it and that is the lines of code you will have to use for that now underneath here i've declared my class and in here that is my the name of my project the root and the title the size and the geometry and here I have the frames that I'm going to be using the main frame top frame which is going to be for my title or we can even call that title frame or whatever and there and this frame here that's going to be for the widget we can just call that widget frame and there we go so make sure your project is saved i'm saving mine in a specified location already so just save it once you save it and you can run it and here if you notice that's where i have asked the pro program to loop so if i run it now you just see it's just a plain frame just like that okay now let's put together some lines of code to take care of the youtube download itself okay the first lines of code i'm going to add is for the title so right there that's the lines of code for the title might as well just take up the title one take that off and at the same time let's take off these two in here all right so let's run it and see how the title is going to look like there we go all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is let's add some widgets on board the next widget here is the widget that will just display where you should enter your URL. That is it right there. Okay, so you can see create and place a widget. Okay, now this widget up here, let's just put title widget on board. On board. All right, so We'll run it and you guys see it one more time there okay the next widget is the widget that will take in the url so let's do that okay i've added three more widgets so let me run it and you see how that looks like for now okay that is the text entry that takes in the url and that's the button and underneath here you won't be able to see that there's a widget there that we display or that will actually give you feedback that is the widget that will give you feedback if you want to see something on it i can just download something and just dump it there so that is for the feedback just enter feedback widget then I'll delete it so that you guys know what's going on feedback widget okay this is it that's on the root so if I run it this is what you will see okay I kind of like repeated it twice there is there it is so let's copy this and just paste that in here and get rid of this there now run as you can see that's my feedback widget okay so now 
we can get rid of this or leave it that way then this other one that's for the download button all right the download button there so have a good look at the lines of code and here start the the loop of the system okay start the graphical user interface event loop that is it right there so have a good look at it then we will deal with the function that will take care of the operation itself so have a good look at it from the top take it from the top bring it down i don't want to want it to be a long video that's why i'm doing it this way i guess you guys have seen that okay the next thing now let's put together the function so right underneath the title here that's where i'm going to enter my function okay in the case of the function you can just follow along because i'm going just going to type that out so right here make sure it is aligned so we'll say function download underscore video there that is my function name then i want to link it straight to my that's a variable there url url entry this is very one because that's where i'm collecting the the url from dot get now i'm going to use a try to try and here there's going to be an exception statement right underneath here so with the exception if anything happens i want it to display a message right inside my feedback widget here so that will be let's say you configure it to do as follows so in this case the text in there is going to tell me there's an error error downloading there okay that is what the feedback label will do for me now in here let's do as follows i'm going to create a variable here that i'm going to call youtube object and this youtube object is going to be youtube taking whatever you have inside the link that is the link now the youtube object grab all of that paste that in here youtube object is going to be equals youtube object dot stream there's a website called stream i will look for that link then add it on the description area so that you guys can read more about this underscore that will define the resolutions there we go then youtube object just want it to download once download is successful i want my feedback status here okay this feedback label or we can even change the name to feedback yeah let's change it to feedback feedback label so that you do, you know what it's what is there for feedback label I want you to do this so on my feedback label to say download is successful something like that and change that to download successful there and finally we need to call this function inside my button or oh, yeah right here so let's come in here and just say call my command equals the name of that function that is it so if i run it now click on run and there's nothing in there click on that you see it's telling me there's an error okay error downloading so let's grab hold of a url from one of my videos all right let's open up okay here's one of my videos on, you, on youtube so i'm just going to copy that very url 
and run the program now click in there or just type in anything error and let's paste the right URL in there and let me take you guys straight into my folder before I do that okay here is the folder where my project is as you can see it's empty so there's no video in there so if I click on download let's see how long that would take there we go look at it it's right there downloading in unity or dancing in unity so I download it if I double click on that click on the play and let's say there we go guys see that so close that and that is how you create your own YouTube downloader guys okay that's how you create your own YouTube downloader let me show you guys the codes one more time there take it from the top bring it all the way here where the function is and take it down there so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed y'all have a nice day now bye for now